Tonight, fire investigators are working to figure out who started that Deer Creek Canyon Park fire. Thank you for choosing Denver 7. I'm Andrew Heal. And I'm Shannon Ogden. So here's what we know right now at 5 o'clock. The fire's been burning since about this time yesterday, and right now it's 100% contained. More than 300 homes had to be evacuated, and that evacuation order has been lifted. So let's get right to our Lance Hernandez, who has more on the investigation. Lance, this has to be a huge relief for those families. Well, the biggest relief, Ann, is that they have homes to return to. Now investigators can focus on the cause of the fire. They say witnesses reported hearing some explosions up that canyon about this time yesterday and then saw some youngsters run from the scene. They don't know if there's a connection between those incidents and the fire, but they aim to find out. Now, you mentioned that the evacuation order has been lifted. Only residents who show proof that they live up there in the canyon are being allowed back in. You got some ID? Hey, I need you to turn around as well because we're only allowing residents. Here. Only residents who live in the area are being allowed past the roadblock just off Deer Creek Canyon at Buckhorn and Cougar Roads. We received a phone call that said get out now and that phone call is fairly distressing so we are um, very relieved to be back. Judy Henry was one of the evacuees. She and her family spent the night at a hotel. <laughs> Three dogs, and this is the little one. I asked if and she's been through this ones. before. We have been through voluntary evacuations, and the angst is a little different. How do you prepare for something like this when it's not voluntary? Well, you don't. That's the reality. You get up and you move. I feel a huge sense of relief. Elisa Soto's also happy to be back home. She said they weren't there when the evacuation order came down. We didn't have the dogs. It was extremely upsetting, especially for my kids. And when they let us back in finally to get them, there was that, you know, we grab important papers, but it makes you realize that if you have, you know, the humans and, and the animals, you're kind of good. And, and when you think of what would I go and grab, while you want everything, you realize you don't really need any of it. You know, she's right. Uh, also, that fire burned about 20 to 25 acres. There are still some hot spots, although it has been 100% contained. They want us to know that three open space parks remain closed up in that area and will likely remain closed through the weekend. They are Deer Creek, Hildebrandt Ranch, and South Valley. Just keep that in mind if you plan to go up there over the weekend. Reporting live in Jefferson County, Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.